You're, it's your boy AJ. You know the vibes. It's Nets Kingdom. Hashtag we go hard. Hashtag Brooklyn together. What's good, y'all? So we're here to talk about the two-way prospect who has been allegedly invited to training camp, Isaiah Cordonier, the 6'5 guard from France. But before I start this video, if you like content like this, please hit the like button, support the channel, subscribe if you're new, and follow me on Instagram at NetsKingdom711, all my socials, join the Nodi gang, don't want to miss out, click the notification bell, don't be that guy to miss any Nodis, Nodi gang gang. So this all started when Kema De Lucas, the famous Spanish hoops writer, who first reported Gabriel Deck to the Thunder. He also reported Mike James to the Nets a few months ago, which has both, he's both been on point about those two predictions. So he discussed in a, a, a magazine that the European team will land Cordonier by tweeting, Cordonier is going to La NBA. So he tweeted out that Cordonier was going to La NBA. Now, the Lucas didn't say the Nets were going to, um, that he was going to the Nets. He didn't say Cordonier was going to the Nets. He basically said in the article or magazine or whatever that he was going to the NBA. But of course, we all know Cordonier has, uh, the Nets have Cordonier's exclusive rights. So he can't come to the NBA without coming to us first or coming through us. Um, so basically he's foreshadowing in long story short, he, he's foreshadowing that Isaiah is going to be coming to training camp or coming to the uh, the NBA soon. So we go back to where it all started. Isaiah Cordonier was born November 1996 in France. He started playing hoops at the age of seven, then went pro around 16, which most European hoopers go pro when they are very young. He was a standout when he got invited to Nike Hoop Summit. Now, after playing pro for a couple years, he entered the 2016 NBA draft where Cordonier was drafted by the Atlanta Hawks in the 2016 NBA draft second round 44th overall pick by the Hawks so he played in the summer league for the Hawks and then on July 13 2018 his draft rights were traded to the Brooklyn Nets along with the future second round pick for Jeremy Lin and picks. Nets Nation I know remembers this Jeremy Lin deal where Woj tweeted his infamous tweet in the Jeremy Lin deal of like Isaiah Cordonaire. He basically said Isaiah Cordonaire, you probably will never see him. <laughs> That's what Woj said. So Isaiah played for our summer league when he got when we got his rights he didn't get picked up and then he eventually went back to play pro ball in france where he's a free agent where which this all comes back full circle of the nets possibly bringing him back to training camp this year to give him a shot at being a two-way now this is all again this is all very speculated that the reporter the spanish reporter that reported it has been right. He was right about Mike James. He was right about Gabriel Lucas. So will he be right about Isaiah Cordonier coming back to the NBA? Will the Nets give him a chance to be a two-way and come back? Now, so after watching a couple videos of, of Isaiah Cordonier, we will divide his strengths and weaknesses like I've been doing with all these other guys. Now, Isaiah Cordonier's first strength is is his athleticism he's really he's a really good athlete impressive quickness leaping abilities he's got bounce y'all he shows really good balance and body control excelling in transition he just has a general high paced game he shows solid slashing abilities with effective change of speed and direction he has good footwork now if i were to compare him to a, somebody in the nba's play style it would definitely be zach levine type he has that zach levine type of play style maybe even russell westbrook you know, just very fast, explosive, athletic, good in the open court. He's not as bouncy as Zach and as Russell Westbrook, but he's deaf, athletic, crazy, lightning first step, has a good scoring instincts. Now, another strength in his game is his change of pace. You see how fast he gets from one speed to the next? He can go to a complete stop and then 
he'll he'll look at you and just blow right by you just a quick first step he just got that quick burst to get by players he gets to the lane with ease at the euro and summer league level because of his athleticism now second strength is his um lateral quickness he has his steals he gets a lot of steals i think because he's so fast and has good timing and instincts so he plays the passing lane very well it makes sense if you're that athletic you should be getting a lot of steals now this doesn't mean he's a good one-on-one -on -one defender i think he's decent but not above average again this is all just by the film from his pro and euro league this could all change if he comes to training camp or to the nba now nba is a different speed you could be fast and athletic in in Euro League, but the NBA there's like 40 different guys that can do the same thing and maybe even faster than you. But defensively, he does have good lateral quickness. He gets in the passing lanes. He generates a lot of steals. He moves side to side very quickly, and that's his second strength, his lateral quickness. Again, he's he's very light on his feet. Gets in the passing lane. Gets a lot of steals. Now, we go to Isaiah's weakness. His weakness is his shooting. This is his one part of the game he struggles the most in. His shooting, he's very streaky, three-point shooter. His mechanics is still an ongoing project, but his release is quick and effective. His He made... Considering his style is based on quickness and slashing abilities to get to the rim, he doesn't really have focus on shooting. Now, he shoots a career 30% in international play, but last year he actually shot well. He shot 45% with 3.8 attempts a game, which is very good. But we look at his shooting history, it has been really bad. A lot of high 20s, you see here 28%, 25%, 22%, and a lot of low 30s. It's like this year, he just had a crazy dramatic great year increase, so he's still most likely a streaky shooter also another weakness his handle is still a major point of concern he has limited his limited to create off the dribble in iso situations when he only relies on his quickness and change of speed again he relies too much on his speed and quickness and he doesn't really have those iso hard and iso cam top he doesn't have those moves in his arsenal he doesn't really have a bag but he just uses athleticism to get by players you know now he's not really consistent on defense Again, he gets in, a lot, in the passing lane, gets a lot of steals, but he doesn't really have good one-on-one -on -one defense ability. Um, he has good lateral quickness, though. That's a, uh, um, that's one of his weaknesses. Is his his con his attitude on defense is not consistent. He's not a consistent one-on-one -on -one defender. Now his shot is improving, but his mechanics need to be become more fluid, and also his shot selection is pretty poor. That is a weakness also. So his shooting is a weakness, and his his um, defensive consistency is a weakness. Let me know in the comments. How do you guys feel about Isaiah Cordonier? Do you think he has a chance of being the 6'5 guard slash wing the Nets could take a chance on with a two-way? Or do you think his skills won't translate to the NBA? He just looks good on film in Summer League and Euro Bowl, but he won't he will look trash in the NBA. Let me know in the comments if you guys think he'll he won't translate to the NBA. Again, we have his rights. There's rumors of him being at training camp, him coming to training camp, giving the Nets will think about giving him a shot and see how he um, plays in training camp also in other news the Brooklyn Nets have released their schedule and roster we see 15 players on the roster uh, they released a promo video on Instagram and they listed here these are the list of the roster we have Ke Kevin Durant James Harden Kyrie Irving Joe Harris Claxton DeAndre Jordan, Cam Thomas, De'Ron Sharp, Patty Mills, DeAndre Bembry, Bruce Brown, Alizé Johnson, James Johnson, Javon Carter, Blake Griffin, then of course our two-way player, Kessler Edwards. As you guys know, we have one spot left for our second two-way contract, and then our roster is full. It's looking like this will be our full roster for the beginning of training camp. I don't expect any drastic trades anytime soon. Now our schedule has been released. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of our schedule. My first opinion is the first week is going to be crazy. I'm super excited for that first week of Nets basketball. We open up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Then we have Philly. Then we go to the Hornets at home. Then we have to play Spencer Dinwiddie. Spencer's making his return to the 
to the Barclays. That's going to be an emotional game, a special game. Then we play that little fake super team in Miami. We play the Miami Heat with Kyle Lowry, P.J. Tucker, Jimmy Butler, Oladipo. Then right after that, Karis LeVert makes his return to Barclays. You see right here, that's crazy. So the end of the week, and then you end of the week with Cade Cunningham in Detroit. So the NBA is really cheesing us. They're tugging on our heartstrings, y'all. They're bringing all of these ex-players coming back to the Barclays. Spencer, Karis, and then we got to open up against Milwaukee and watch them get their rings. It's like the NBA is really tugging on our Nets heartstrings here. They're really cheesing us, guys. But it's going to be exciting. It's going to be great. It's going to be a great first. Those those first seven games is going to be crazy. Let me know what games you guys are excited for with this the schedule. What games y'all circling on the on the schedule? And t also in the comments, tell me about Isaiah Cordonier. Do you think he has a chance? Do you like his game? Do you like... Do you think that he should get a two-way or should we just give the two-way to DDJ or um, another um, another um, G League center? Maybe another G League center. There's Isaiah Hard Hardenstein. They were thinking about um, Hardenstein got a workout in Vegas. So Isaiah Hardenstein could be another option we can give a two-way to. Maybe we should go for the seven-foot center as our second two-way. Let me know in the comments if you guys like Isaiah and what do you guys think about our schedule? It's your boy AJ. It's Nets, it's Nets Kingdom. Holla at me. Hit that like button for me. I'm out.